government made a crucial uh, mistake by not uh, contacting the stakeholders neither they contacted the state governments nor the experts and nor, nor, nor the farmer community in general uh, to bring about those changes so the three bills they introduced because of their arrogance and overwhelming majority uh, they made those mistakes uh, the question arises that why they have to do at this time when the system was working hmm. they should not have done at this timing particularly when the covid crisis is uh, at the climax Hey everyone, welcome to Darpan Dialogue. The Indian farmers have been protesting for over a week now in relation to agriculture bills passed by Narendra Modi's government back in mid-September. A lot of people have thrown their solidarity behind the farmers by organizing rallies in different parts of the world. So the protests haven't just been limited to India. Rallies have been organized in Canada, in the U.S., in the U.K., and in Australia. Uh, now to kind of shed some light on what exactly is going on, a lot of you have been following the farmers protests in India and Gurmanth Grewal a three term mp has also been following the protests he was in the house of commons from 1997 until 2006 and he's been good enough to join us in studio hi gurmanth how are you fine thank you very much thank you for having me on the show yes thank you for taking the time with us how long do you think this is going to go on for perhaps um the escalation uh with what we're seeing with the farmers and the government yeah first of all this is very unfortunate that uh, this situation has arrived to this level i believe that uh, this, you know the government uh, is not going to budge at this moment this is what seems like the reason being the government called it to be their a uh, flagship uh, legislation and uh, prime minister modi uh, after this legislation was passed he you know uh, promoted this bill as a significant uh, part of the government the provincial governments states uh, they have also passed similar legislations in the past uh, chief minister badal passed the similar legislation of contract farming in 2013 no one is talking about it 19 states out of 36 states in india they already have implemented what the legislation is going to implement in punjab haryana and rajasthan at this moment that's why the uh, farmers of punjab and, and haryana are at the forefront of this uh, protest compared to other parts of the of the nation exactly yeah. and uh, so the fci has been buying most of the products their bare lim minimum limit at which they must c control their buffer stock was 25 million metric tons uh, the government already has 100 million in their stock 100 million metric ton in their stock of wheat for example mm -hmm. so the government is not in hurry to look into the shortage of the food or they don't see that uh, this uh, politically is going to hurt them in any way until the farmers crisis is taking that shape So now I heard that they have deputed army at some of the borders today or yesterday. Uh, the government is going to press this movement at this moment it seems like and the situation is going to be getting serious until un unless the government either comes up with the amendment. So I guess that uh, probably in the next few days mm -hmm. uh, either the government will be forced by the pressure mounted by the protest to take the bills back or make appropriate suitable amendments other than that i don't see any solution so tell us as to what exactly are the three agriculture bills that uh the farmers are very unpleased about your viewers will know that this was an ordinance in july last year and then uh, then the bill got the uh, sent from the president on september 27th as you mentioned this year the three bills they their intent was to close the loopholes and uh, continue with the their reform agenda but uh, there is a mistrust between the farmers and the government at this moment particularly for those two politicians who made those comments finance minister made the recent comment and uh, mr getkari made the comment some time ago who said in 2012 to 14 when he was the minister that uh, msp is an extra burden on the economy
let's talk about the uh, commodity amendment bill first sometimes sometimes in 1955 the farmers were exploited by the middle agents uh, the big corporations at that time they start holding the products and then they will uh, exploit the farmers by holding and controlling the market by monopoly or monopolizing the uh, agriculture business they will buy cheap and uh, hold it and then create artificial uh, shortage of the products and then increase the price uh, there are many products which are labeled as essential commodities they were originally meant for either uh, food products or important drugs the government now changed the essential commodity uh, act to take out some of the products from those commodities they have put two conditions that and they they change the limits of the holding so the limit is significantly increased and the products are uh, uh, to be taken out only if they, there is a war or a natural calamity or something of that emergency situation so this is a loophole given to the far, uh, given to the uh, friends of the politicians who are big corporations like adanis or ambanis this is the perception uh, in the farmer community at this moment uh, you might know that uh, 100 acre uh, warehouse is being developed by adanis uh, near panipat so how would they prepare that uh, big pro- warehouse 100 acre warehouse to store commodities that means there is some alleged link between the big companies and the government's uh, support the second bill Uh, which we can discuss is the farm produce trade in the bill the fa- central government has not put any measures to support the apmc body in which right. the 6% of the total produce is being sold uh, at the prices msp which is the minimum support price for a particular product when uh, apmc was introduced at that time uh, in green revolution was being launched in the early 1960s and since then the system has been working uh, with that presumption 1000 crores uh, is the income from the msp so the government has taken out the tax 14.5% tax which the buyer used to pay for the produce and 2.5% commission they used to pay to the middleman which is the artias since there is no financing provisions available to the farmers in general the farmers they borrow money at a high interest from those middlemen for buying seeds fertilizers chemicals and so on and uh, since that middleman will be eventually eliminated despite the fact that the government has clearly stated that the AAM, apmc will not be abandoned right. and the msp will not be abandoned minimum support price will stay many people will find it shocking that msp is not legislated hmm. it's not mandatory for anyone to buy at msp it is only a tradition it's only a uh, practice followed by by nature uh, the because it is there but there is no compulsion on anyone to buy under msp outside three prominent provinces where hmm. AAP, apmc is more active right. punjab haryana rajasthan and part of western up i should say three and a half states in the rest of the country apmc network is not very active so these two prominent states punjab and haryana right. they depend on msp and middle uh, people in the market the empowerment and protection bill as per which the contracts will be signed by the third parties which will be the open market it could be wholesalers it could be warehouses it could be exporters and so on or the processors when the farmer is selling directly to a wholesaler or to outside the mandi market right they are, they will be signing the contracts uh, those contracts are not mandatory to be written they could be verbal imagine a situation that an illiterate farmer who doesn't even know how to sign is signing a contract to sell their produce to a big well organized body what kind of contract would it be first of all for example at one time a big potato chip company they signed a contract with farmers to buy their potatoes 
they wanted to get out of that uh, contract they said all the potatoes are not of the same type and size potatoes are grown in the land they are not uh, right. manufactured in a dye machine with which a mold will produce them so they are bound to be of different sizes you can approximately grade them but still there is a variation from one potato to the other and they got out of and the farmers couldn't do anything secondly if they do prepare a contract and then uh, if there is a dispute the farmer is not allowed to go to the court to take that dispute they will be they are allowed according to the legislation go to an sdm if they are not satisfied with the sdm they will go to the joint secretary of uh, food department uh, in the central government delhi imagine an illiterate farmer dealing with all this who will the sdm or the joint secretary support an illiterate farmer or a well educated uh, big corporate uh, who is controlling the market and the big donor to the government i believe that this is a recipe for corruption and it is unfair to the farmers so that's one component the other component is that uh, when the farmer is signing a contract with a, a big corporation it, there is a potential for emergence of a new uh, uh, middlemen who will be you know uh, controlling the pro, uh, inputs in the farms because the farmers have to buy the inputs fertilizers chemicals seeds and so on the contract will be controlling the farmer to dictate them what kind of crop they can grow which variety they should use which fertilizer they should buy from where they should buy fertilizers all those things and the farmer will be at a disadvantage and he will be on the edge of the bullying by the big market companies few things i would say that overall in nutshell the bill at this moment is not in the best interest of the farmer because the farmer wants a network of guarantee and safety of the prices but uh, the intent of the government is at the doubt at this moment credibility of the government is at doubt i believe that the government should be proactive still the situation can be controlled uh, they should make either proper amendments or they should withdraw these uh, uh, three bills and uh, try to come up with a new form of uh, uh, legislation which will loophole which will plug the loopholes Right. and it will be in the best interest of the farmers farmers are the core of the indian economy they contribute significantly to the gdp top 50% of the agriculture is controlled by 10% of the households the remaining 50% is controlled by 0.05% of the households 40 but about 40% of the income of the farmer is from wages talking about the you know situation of the farmers in in the country since 1947 uh, the farmers income has increased only by 21 times since 1947 average bureaucrats or employees their income has increased by 135 180 times they are uh, comparatively less educated or more illiterate and they are marginal small marginal farmers they don't have much capacity according to this bill they will not have money and means to transport their products elsewhere they will not have means to go through the courts and uh, sdms and others to defend themselves they rely on the government the farmers are at disadvantage they are poverty stricken they are stuck into the perpetual debt and they are at the mercy of the government as well as the middlemen for sponsoring their needs the frustrated farmers they are committing suicides and for many years there is no solution by the government despite the fact that they said that they will uh, excuse or they will forgive their uh, debt no one has done that and they 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 need a way to provide them an innovative way mm -hmm. either technology based or the proactive by the government mm -hmm. uh, use the data and uh, to facilitate their uh, survival. Well, thank you uh for coming out and uh sharing your thoughts. A uh, very very important issue at the moment and uh we'll see what happens in the next few days. Thank you for coming out again. Thank you very much. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. Like, share and subscribe.